In this video presentation, I shall discuss the rest of the very short question and answer from the prose piece entitled Deep Water. I have already given a very important video presentation on this topic. And in this video presentation, I shall discuss the rest of the questions. Now my dear students, I welcome you all to my educational channel. The name of my educational channel is Priyankar Dotto. Here you can find video presentations on English language and literature of school level, college level as well as of competitive examination. Now let us move to the main focus of this video presentation. The 16th question which may be said from this prose piece is What happened when the narrator started to go down for the third time? You can write the answer to the question in this way. When the narrator started to go down for the third time, he, his legs became limp. A blackness swept over his brain. He felt drowsy and thought of sleeping. In short, he failed to sense the danger he was in. Afterwards, he became unconscious. The seventeenth question which may be said from this prose piece is, what could the narrator remember after regaining consciousness? You may write the answer to the question in this way. After regaining consciousness, the narrator was lying on his stomach beside the pool and vomiting. The boy who had thrown the narrator said that he had done so to make fun. Someone said that the narrator would have died and suggested to carry him to the locker room. The eighteenth question which may be said from this prose piece is How did the narrator feel when he returned home? You may write the answer to the question in this way. When the narrator returned home, he was weak, his body shook, he cried when he lay on his bed, perhaps out of the joy of being at home once again. He could not eat that night, the slightest exertion made him obli in the knees and sick in his stomach. The nineteenth question which may be said from the prose piece is What happened when the narrator wanted to get into the water of the cascades? You may write the answer to the question in this format. When the narrator wanted to get into the water of the cascades, the terror which had seized him in the pool came back. The terror took possession of him completely. It paralyzed his legs. Moreover, icy horror grabbed his heart. The twentieth question which may be said from this prose piece is, Which waters of the cascades did the narrator come to know? You may write the answer to the question in this way. The narrator came to know the Teton or Bumping River or Warm Lakes of the Goat Rocks he referred to the water of these places as waters of the cascades. Whenever the narrator got into them, his terror of the pool came back to him. The twenty-first question which may be said from this prose piece is, What did the narrator refer to as this handicap? And how did it stay with the narrator? And for writing the answer to the question, you may use this kind of language. The narrator referred to the fear associated with the pool as this handicap. It stayed with the narrator as wherever he went, it followed him. Moreover, it ruined his fishing trips, deprived him of the joy of canoeing, boating and swimming. The 22nd question which may be set from this prose piece is, in which places did the haunting fear of the water follow the narrator? And for writing the answer to the question, look what we have here. The haunting fear of the water followed the narrator in canoes on main lakes, fishing for landlocked salmon, bass fishing in New Hampshire, trout fishing in the destitutes, and metolias in Oregon. Fishing for salmon on the Columbia, at Bumping Lake in the Cascades, etc. The twenty-third question which may be set from this prose piece is, When did the narrator finally decide to get an instructor and learn to swim and why? 
and you may write the answer to the question in this way the narrator finally decided to get an instructor and learn to swim one october he did so because although he used every way he had known to overcome his fear of water the fear held him firmly in its grip the 24th question which may be set from this prose piece is how did the narrator practice swimming under an instructor and for writing the answer to the question you may use this kind of language the instructor put a belt around the narrator a rope was attached to the belt the instructor held on to the sorry held on the other end of the rope and they went in all directions in the pool hour after hour five days a week for week after week the 25th question which may be set from the prose piece is what effect did the getting of an instructor have upon the narrator you may write the answer to the question in this way the instructor enabled the narrator to face the panic situation again and again in 3 months time the panic began to slack as he learned to put his face under water and exhale and to put his face over water and inhale he got rid of it bit by bit the 26th question which may be set from this prose piece is how did the instructor teach the narrator to use his legs under water and for writing the answer to the question you may write or rather you may use this kind of language the instructor held the narrator at the side of the pool and told him to kick with his legs this practice went on for weeks at first the narrator's legs did not move but with repeated practice the legs became relaxed and finally he could use them as he wanted the 27th question from this prose piece is what was the final step of the teaching of the instructor and for writing the answer to the question you may use this kind of language when the instructor had taught the narrator sorry had taught the narrator all the skills he made the narrator use all these things by making him dive up and swim the length of the pool in a crawl stroke as the narrator succeeded in doing so the instructor's final step was accomplished now we shall move to the next question of this video presentation and the question is why did the narrator say but i was not finished the answer to the question is the narrator knew that as he had nightmarish experiences of water beforehand swimming before the instructor by using all kinds of skills was one thing and swimming by himself was something else that was why the narrator said but i was not finished the 29th question which may be set from the prose piece is what did the narrator do to put a final touch to his learning the skill of swimming and you may write the answer to the question in this way to put a final touch to his learning the skill of swimming the narrator went to the pool when nobody was there and swam the length up and down still the old terror came back in miniature form to keep it away he swam once more along the length the 30th question which may be set from this prose piece is what did the narrator do as he was still not sure that the terror had gone completely the answer to the question is as the narrator was still not sure that all the terror had gone completely he went to lake went what in new hampshire dived off a dock at triggs island and swam 2 miles across the lake to stamp act island he swam in all methods crawl breast stroke side stroke and back stroke the next question is what did the narrator do as he had residual doubts the answer to the question is as the narrator had residual doubts at the first opportunity he went up to tiaton to conrad meadows up the conrad creek trail 
to meet glacier cramped by the side of warm lake he even swam across to the other shore of warm lake and came back the 32nd question which may be set from this prose piece in which way did the experience have a deep meaning for the narrator the answer to the question is the experience had a deep meaning for the narrator because he had felt stark terror and conquered it the terror was produced by a sensation of dying as a result the intensity of the will to live grew in the narrator after all he felt relaxed or relieved this is all about the probable two or three marks question from the prose piece entitled deep water this prose piece is at present included in the syllabus of english of cbse now before concluding this video presentation i request you to subscribe my channel to share my video presentations to your friends so that they can also be benefited i also request you to put forward your views in the comment section of this video presentation and if you feel that you need a particular video presentation you can put forward that request not in the comment section of the video presentation but through whatsapp in the number 9434581673 you may find the number in the details of the channel of this youtube channel thank you